today is day 100 on Route 66 for this inspiration trip. I'm looking down Route 66 westbound from what once was called Rice, Arizona on maps, but that name didn't last too long. Rice, it's that stuff right down there, became Rocky's old stage station. To the northeast of Rice, you see that little loop. That's the Petrified Forest National Park. And to the southwest says Trading Post. I'll come back to that a little bit later. There's me standing in front of where 66 would have went past Rice and Rocky's old stage station. There's another view there. Uh, better view there. Some of the buildings that are still around. Don't really want to go into that property. No, thank you. Uh, and that's head west towards the trading post that's on this map here. Further down 66 from Rice was the Painted Desert Point trading post. Not to be confused with the Painted Desert trading post, which has been beautifully restored to a level that you can visit, not operational or anything like that. Uh, however, this place is just ruins, just foundations and some junk is left over these days. Has a real sad story. Uh, you can look it up if you're interested. But the owner ended up killing his son, if I remember correctly. I'll have to look that up. But I guess his, uh, his son had some mental health issues and to protect his own life, uh, he killed his son. Sad story. It's places like Rice, AKA Rocky's Old Stage Station, and the Painted Desert Point trading posts that are inspiring the um, 66 Ghost Towns movement and the desert-themed movement of the Route 66 suite. So if you're interested in, in my research and what I'm doing, uh, go ahead and check out the Patreon uh, page, patreon.com slash Route66Suite, and subscribe.